Have you stood next to a streetlight, traffic signal, or parking lot pole and noticed the pole isn't resting flat on the ground? It's standing on a raised concrete base, leaving a noticeable gap between the metal and the street or sidewalk. At first glance, this seems like a random design choice or maybe just for aesthetics. But in reality, this small design detail has a big role in protecting the pole, ensuring safety, and keeping maintenance costs down. So why aren't light poles installed flush with the ground like fence posts or sign poles? What's the real reason they float above the surface on concrete blocks? Stick around, we're breaking down the surprisingly smart engineering behind light poles and why they're built the way they are. First on the list is corrosion prevention. The number one reason for elevating light poles is to prevent corrosion. Metal poles, whether made of steel, iron, or even aluminum, are vulnerable to rust and degradation over time, especially at the base where water tends to collect. Think about what happens after it rains. Water pools on the ground, especially near curbs or road edges, and it doesn't always drain away quickly. If the metal pole were sitting directly on that wet ground, it would constantly be exposed to moisture, road salts, and chemicals all of which speed up rusting. But by raising the pole slightly on a concrete base, it keeps the metal dry and away from the standing water. This one simple design change can add years, even decades, to a pole's lifespan, preventing costly replacements and repairs. 2. The Role of the Concrete Base That concrete base isn't just there to keep the pole dry, it's a structural foundation too. Light poles experience a lot of force from strong winds, vibrations from traffic, or even minor bumps from vehicles. If they were installed directly into soft soil or asphalt, they'd be much more likely to shift, tilt, or even fall over with time. Instead, the pole is either embedded directly into the concrete or attached with large anchor bolts. This setup allows the base to distribute the force evenly into the ground and keep the pole steady even in tough weather conditions. Some bases are designed to be breakaway safe, meaning they snap at the base in a collision to reduce the damage to a car or the risk to people. So while it looks simple, that concrete base is doing serious heavy lifting, literally and structurally. 3. Water Drainage and Electrical Protection Now, let's talk drainage. Water and electricity don't mix, we all know that. Many light poles have access panels at the bottom for wiring, timers, or fuses. If those panels were sitting flush on the ground, they'd be exposed to splashing water, mud, and debris, which could seep into the electrical components. Not only would that damage the internal parts, but it could also create shock hazards or cause short circuits. Raising the pole above ground level helps water flow away from the wiring, not into it. It's a small change, but it significantly reduces electrical failures and boosts safety, both for the system and for the people around it. Fourth is easier maintenance and longevity. There's also a very practical reason for this design, maintenance access. Technicians often need to open the access doors near the bottom of the pole to check wires, replace components, or troubleshoot faults. If those access points were buried or blocked by pavement, maintenance would be frustrating and time-consuming. But with a raised base, the access panel stays clean, dry, and easy to reach, no digging required. Plus, the concrete base itself is more resistant to wear and tear than metal so it acts like a protective collar that shields the bottom of the pole from damage by lawnmowers, cars, or foot traffic. And that's all. So some common questions are usually asked, and I am sure one or two has come up on your mind. Let's answer that. But before that, please if you find the video interesting, like and subscribe. It will mean a lot. First common question is, why not just waterproof the whole pole? Well, that's a great question, and yes, many poles are coated with rust-resistant paint or galvanization. But no matter how tough that coating is, it won't hold up forever if the pole is sitting in standing water, salt, and grime 24-7. Water finds its way into even the smallest cracks, and over time, it eats away at the metal. So instead of just relying on coatings, engineers added a more permanent fix, physical elevation. It's a low-cost solution that works better and lasts longer than just waterproofing alone. And here's something most people don't consider. That raised base isn't just functional, it's part of urban design and visibility. By elevating the pole, it becomes more noticeable to pedestrians and drivers, especially at night or in bad weather. It creates a visual separation between the pole and the walking or driving surface, which helps reduce accidents, like tripping over poles or accidentally scraping them with vehicles. In some cases, 
The base is even painted a reflective color or wrapped with markings to make it more visible, particularly in parking lots or busy intersections. Here's a fun fact. In colder climates, some light pole bases are designed to resist the pressure of frost heaving when water in the soil freezes and expands, pushing up structures from the ground. That base keeps the pole steady, even during seasonal temperature swings. So yeah, there's a lot more going on under that pole than meets the eye. If you found this explanation helpful or learned something new today, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more everyday tech breakdowns, and let me know in the comments, what's something else in the city you've seen every day but never really understood? See you in the next one.